Seven, seven weeks of this. Heck yeah. Tip number 44, abort. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just abort. Give up. Give <laughs> Just up. don't. <laughs> don't do right. it. Right. There are 24 motors sitting in the thing right now. It is still plugging away. I need like 90 to go adventuring today. I'm and there are no got... rotors. I'm about to bin, go so. see if there's more rotors I can toss in there. Might be a little bit. They're at least getting made in an official industrial capacity now. Yeah. yeah. And just in the time we were puttering around at the end of the last session and going into this session, we made it to seven tickets. Hey. Wow. We need three more, but hey, it's progress. That is a bad tip. Okay. Get it? Arachnophobia? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Given Spud's success with the uh, <clears throat> jump pads in this session, I'm probably going to end up playing with them in my, uh, my new game. I finally found a way to make them usable. <laughs> Which is, wire them in cereal. Yep. <laughs> I, I absolutely got... do not want to be um, hypertubing. The whole point of the save is that I'm tired of dealing <clears throat> with hypertubes. Mm. Oh, we are cranking them out. Rotors just spitting on out of this thing. Yeah, I just tossed 100 in there. All right, there's a new bin for them now. Yeah, there's there's some teardown to be done of the old side of this, but again, that's a very not today thing. I need to not be at this. Don't you put wires in your cereal, young man? What are you talking about, Double Cross? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Look, I don't I can't be expected to remember what I just said. <laughs> All right, might as well. Oh, there's a bunch of uh regular mod frames in there. Get yay wide. Excuse me? <clears throat> Probably going to set up a... Uh... Oh, well, I are need... are you setting uh, up over there? I need the truck stop. I just need mod frames. Ah. Oh, there's a bunch over there. The, the old bin structure has, like, a mondo amount, like 800 of them. Okay. That's why I'm kind of looking at setting up next to the... Uh, next to the motor site, just set up a manufacturer for heavy mods, just hand-feedable, kind of like this one, but... We do kind of need heavy mods, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, let me put that on my to-do list, which I should have done to begin with. It takes heavy mod frames to mm -hmm. make heavy mod frames. <laughs> Back to the workbench. Uh, yeah. There. Yeah. 
Well, we have some in uh, in storage because they were picked up from hard drive sites. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> Got what I needed. my lap if you're gonna bite me little girl <sighs> so, okay, and I'm back okay welcome, welcome back, back. <clears throat> odd frames and EIBs huh okay I have just made a variety of mistakes. Industrial sized cheese graters. Interesting comment. Do you want all that? Yeah. Probably not. We do need a couple of those. Yeah, these are not uh, these are not inhalers for asthma, and it would be bad to. I imagine it would be bad to use them as such. <laughs> that sounds like that would be awful. Considering that they're made from like alien protein, it, you'd just be shoving beef into your mouth. Ew. <laughs> no, please no. Okay, I need completely change how that. Should be able to use some of this for I'll fall down. On frames, the IB is steel pipes and screws. There we go. <laughs> New ideas for Hitman Four. There's a lot of ways to to kill a person intentionally or accidentally in this game. Okay, I need to closer. That was a sentence. <laughs> <clears throat> Doing a smidgen of cleanup of the <clears throat> of the home base storage containers of materials we no longer need to have 
supplies on hand, like Caterium ore. Ah, true. some more ammunition if I'm going hey. hunting. All right, steel pipes and the IBs get. My new trackball, I programmed it with a double click button. Makes getting stacks of things out of bins just slightly easier. Nice. Very nice. I don't want to control click because I don't want to empty out the bin. Ruse. And then just regular old mod frames. I do kind I of like loading useful. up with various types of rebar gun ammo. <laughs> well, this looks like a shatter ammo situation. The first truck station has been configured. Or has been put in place. <clears throat> Consolidating our power shards, because they were in two different bins for a bit there. Idea. Okay. Heavy mods. Only two per minute, but it's two more per minute than we were getting. You have another one coupon. You know what? I'm going to do the smart thing and bring a bunch of concrete while I'm thinking about it. I am going You're on an adventure. <laughs> I mean, you I always need to have concrete on hand, but yeah. I figure the safest way to get a, a truck thing to go is to make a pathway for it. Hey, Spud, there's 152 motors in there now. Oh, that's <clears throat> sweet. Although some of that should probably go towards at least this milestone. Oh, so yeah, that. you want me to go ahead and finish it off? I, I got it. I'm standing right here. I'm also standing oh. right here. Okay. Right. There we go. I've been here at Hub just kind of prepping for my trip. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. A lot of stators. We're out of rotors again. Gee, we can now make liquid biofuel. Wait, liquid biofuel? Excuse me? Yeah. I wonder how new that is. I don't ring any bells, but on the other hand, it's not something I ever went into playing with, so... Yeah, I've, I've never made liquid biofuel. That's new to me. Yeah, it's apparently a further refinement of solid biofuel that can then be packaged. 
in Oh, so you have to package it. That's probably it's, why Because it, really it, it's a liquid much. now, yeah. So you have to get a packager. <clears throat> yeah. And plastic. Yep. And wa you know, water and plastic, basically, to start making that. Mm-hmm. But liquid biofuel. Liquid biofuel. That sounds amazing. I mean, if you <clears throat> if you want something before, like, petroleum fuel to fuel up your truck, that might be pretty good. You just... I just, I just have no idea where you're going to find uh, water out here. Uh, there are geysers right next to the quartz deposit. Yeah, but getting at geysers is a whole other... Problem. Yeah, a whole other problem. I don't think we I don't we, think we've got the tech for that yet. We don't we can't frack yet, no. No fracking. Fracking Janai. <clears throat> Alright, how many motors do I have left after that? Like hundred and five. Yeah, that's enough. Alright, expanded power infrastructure takes computers. Yep. That's what that was about. Jetpack requires packaged regular fuel. We're not even making fuel right now. Yep. I mean, technically, fuel is a thing we can do. That was part of the oil processing unlock. Yeah, it, it just needs to be set up somewhere. We just don't have the fuel generators. That is true, yeah, which is, we don't really have a use for packaged fuel. It's vehicles, really. Vehicles and the jetpack. Yeah. Which, the jetpack is great, but... Oh, right, now grab a bunch of rotors so we can make more motors. Paying attention to All what right. I'm doing. I think I've got enough motors to do what I want to do. Let me check and see if there's any other things I need to grab on my way out. <clears throat> more will be made. So I just dumped off 200 more rotors. So I think I'm going to buff the steelworks and then get to work on some kind of computery thing. That is, Compu Factory is on the list. We have an HMF maker that's not really a factory. <clears throat> okay. But I feel like a proper HMF factory, like a proper computer factory, is going to require trains. Yeah. But we have to be making some computers before we can even think about trains. Yeah. And I think computers get used in enough quantity that they justify more than just spot production. Yes, yes. Now, there will be, like, like the HMFs, there will be a spot production of computers temporarily while we unlock trains so we can make computers properly. Yeah. So I'm picking the monorail technology thing because, well, we're going to need it. We're, we're just about at that point where proper production is going to require proper transportation. No. All right, I mean, I'm off. The, the truck project notwithstanding. Oh, good luck, sir. I'm just going to go up on the cliffs and grab those three. Okay. I'd, I'd wait to compel us to... Double cross. I'd wait to compel us to build a giant obelisk until we've got more of the uh, cosmetic stuff unlocked. Oh yeah, there's there's so much architecture we can't do yet. Yeah, we've been kind of we've been prioritizing very functional uh, architecture, but uh, we can't really do art projects yet. Not yet, no. Not until we're. We'll get there. Here. We have a minor Mark II and two minor Mark I's on the coal nodes. That is true.
That is to satisfy the current ingot needs of the current setup. Right. So, a room for expansion is somewhat limited there. Well... Yes and no. Yes and no. I agree. Face to face and back to back, they drew their swords and shot each other. Um, <laughs> I can just split off of these splitters that are already feeding this one bank of foundries and face the other direction and feed a second bank of foundries. Yeah, that sounds legit. The splitters are already there. question is, can I double the uh, source material production at all? And I'm not sure that's really going to be possible. So if I can't, I won't bother, but I, I will at least look and see if I can get us a skosh more. Oh, I can't wait till we have explosives. I can blow that rock up and get the bug out of it. So, Shadow Rebar is of limited effectiveness against hatched bugs. Yeah, <clears throat> there's not much that really does much against them. Whacking them is largely the biggest thing. And besides, really, they don't do as much damage anymore. It's the fact that the spawn thingies Are now, keep chucking them at you. Yeah, it's infinite spawning is a heck of a thing. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, Finally it found a purple me. power slug. It only took seven weeks. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. <clears throat> yeah, right. some other roughly up there please. is where our first <clears throat> specimen lies. Comply. No, I'm not picking up the thing, guys. Come on. I don't but care. But it's talking voice. to you. I've picked up a bunch of them and it hasn't done anything for me. What have you done for me lately, spooky voice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about that first, and then then we can talk about picking up your strange orbs. Match. Go. Oh, that's a huge fracking site. Oh, good, there's poison. Well, it is a very good thing. I made a walkway. You know, I've maybe picking up some... Up we have gas masks, don't we? I should probably think about that. We've unlocked them. We've unlocked them, we... but we haven't made them. Well, There's like HMFs. fabric, mycelia, what have you, involved. to make portable miners. AI limiters, HMFs, computers, AI limiters, wire, cable. Fine, I'll make one more. Ah, so you're right, some noblesque wouldn't be bad either. All right, that's one. Going in the hopper. Ten minutes away from a new discovery. Oh, wheat. Nice. And yeah, I'm going to look into make, actually making a gas mask and some filters. Because I think that would just be nice if I'm going to be doing... It's that. a very good idea. This, this is like the actual Especially job. now that you can just wear it and not think about it ever again. Yeah, no, that, now that I can just... Put it on and it just works. And I can have other equipment on. I still love that, that you can just that is a, it put was basically a very, all the equipment on. It was a very good quality of life. 
thing. Indeed. Okay. That is a Mark II conveyor belt. And that is not enough anymore. Luckily, I have a crap ton of steel on my person with which to make Mark III belts. Yeah, the steel works actually held up pretty well for our needs. The the Mark I version. Mm -hmm. Considering we were splitting off some of it to make EIBs. Oh. We don't have that, do we? We haven't done the logistics upgrade for the Mark IVs, have we? No, we have not. No. So I will probably need to separate the two iron ore supplies. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Yeah. What if we could've? Uh, well, no. That's not a good sound. <laughs> I walked away before grabbing materials I need to make a truck. Oops. Oh, yeah. That's why I did so much uh. quadruple and quintuple checking of my inventory, and then I was like, I should go back and build a gas mask. All right, I uh, need to save purple. I almost cried until I realized, wait, no, we do have rubber. We're good. Don't panic. You're good. What does this parkour, parkour look like on the outside? It doesn't look like anything humanly possible. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> Although the fact that we're we have like Blade Runners strapped to our legs, it's more like we just we do a little quick grind on the ground and then leap off into the air and use that momentum over and over again. We are very high speed parkourers. We're basically parkourers with roller blades on. I think they like to be called free runners. Mm. My soul hurts. That, well, yeah, sorry. that that did psychic damage. I'm impressed. <laughs> that really did. It was super effective. But you see, you have to do it with the, with the whiny, annoying voice too. Or, mm -hmm. You can't play that sort of thing straight. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm still going to build off the other side of these foundries. I'm just going to have to run a separate run of elevated conveyors for the iron because we don't have Mark IV belts. They'll just get split into two instead of being combined like they are now. Yeah. I, I could take one of those completely away right now and the Mark II will power it. All right, what does it take to make some gas mask filters? Five, right, six, it takes fabric and what? Coal? <laughs> raw coal? Oh yeah, yeah, raw coal, by the way. Lovely. So you can literally just run up to one of the... Uh, yeah, run up to... Or for one of the miners and just <clears throat> grab a bunch out of the... Uh, Pause out production of the for a bit, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll briefly inconvenience one of the foundries or something. Like, okay. On 20. Okay. Uh, 
lot of fabric too. Which is Battlefield Mycelia. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. I knew all this raw biofuel would come in handy. Usually does. I mean, the not solid kind. Mm-hmm. The biomass? Yeah, the biomass, yeah. A whopping nine. Nine heavy mod frames. Hey. I picked up a few computers Hi, and baby. HMMFs on my on that last uh, voyage, so oh, I put, hey. them, I put them in the uh, put them in the communal bin. Wee. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh, there's some in there. Oh, yeah. Very short. Screws. Ugh. Okay, fine. You cut that out. Five. All right, you can just turn protein into biomass. It's the one thing I didn't come back with a whole bunch of, and now I'm regretting it. It's always something. It really is. Oh, hey, that's right. We've got a sink bin, and I picked up a bunch of random ore while I was monkeying around with stuff. Well, there oh, you go. said he needed some, needed some coal, just boring coal by itself, right? For yeah, mass I just expression. need some. I just need some boring coal for those purposes. It is in the random miscellaneous stuff bin. Thank you. I will now, now go load up on as much screws as I can carry so I can dump them into the HMF maker. That was a good mod frames while I'm at it because, well... Damage to fix it properly. Shut up. Oops, that. We have some regrets here. Yeah. All right. Gas mask. And a bunch of gas filters. Uh oh, what'd we get? How bad is it? I want me you wanna grab those or I'm almost there. Okay, yeah, I'm just I'm just cranking out these gas filters. Well, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Did we get so, a good roll? We got an interesting roll. The flexible framework is a new way to make versatile frameworks for the elevator shipments. Huh. Makes it takes rubber 
but you get seven and a half per minute instead of five. So you get through the versatile framework phase faster. But that mm. only comes up, it's only gonna come up two more times in this entire save. So I'm less worried about that. They also gave us fine concrete, which is silica and limestone to make 25 per minute concrete instead of the usual 15 per minute. Which, okay, fine. But how about heavy mod frames without screws? Ooh. Oh. Mod frames, EIBs, and steel pipes, which is the same three ingredients as normal. But instead of a bunch of screws, instead of 100 screws to make a mod frame, it takes 22 concrete to make three Yo. mod uh -huh. frames. Heavy mod frames. No. The, the rate is not much faster, but it requires not having screws. Yeah, Ooh. that's it, it goes through the time. other stuff faster. But yeah, taking screws out of the equation is always a win as far as I'm concerned. And limestone. Re replacing screws, which is a big, bulky, complicated, annoying thing with concrete which is everywhere and plentiful. That I'm totally picking awesome. that one. Yeah, that, yeah. Anyway, while the MAM is open... Gonna... I mean, I'm still going to load up the bin with all the screws I just picked up and let that play through, but once that's done, I'll just change recipes. It wants copper sheets and regular mod frames. Well, I just threw a bunch in this bin to feed the HMF machine, so if you want to grab some mod frames, they're there. Oh, while well, I'm here. Is that what I was actually doing? Oh... You know how tempted I am to switch from monorail to expanded power infrastructure just so I can get the Mark IV belts? Yeah, it's... yeah, it's very tempting, honestly. <laughs> Especially if we chance upon more computers later and whatnot. I hate to say it, but I... Because I'm looking at this steel factory refactoring and it's like having to split everything apart because we don't have Mark IV belts we're already making the base material for Mark IV belts, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I think it's I think it's probably more important, more more relevant to us than trains yeah. at the moment. Yeah. All right. Talk me into it. We should have a few HMFs over here, and we do. So it's literally just going to be coming up with the computers, which I guess tells me what I'm doing next. Mm. Where are you putting that into expanded power infrastructure? Oh yeah, that's right. Expanded power infrastructure is the one we want. I didn't see. Yep. I, for some reason, I didn't notice the name changing. It just the materials look the same. So, right. Yep, expanded power infrastructure. Gets us the fuel generator. Gets us the ability to scan for criterium, but more importantly, conveyor belts. Ooh. New recipe. What we get? What we get? What we get? Pur purple. I, I. It's. I just put in. We finally found. Oh, a you just did a research. Slide. Okay. Just regular old boring research. Okay. So. Now it is time for me to run back home and program the path for the truck. Cool. And pray to any god I know that it works. All right, now that I've got a gas mask, I feel free to go back out into the wild orange yonder. All right, I'm going to set up a computer thingy. Well, we're all keeping busy. 
Yep. I think what I want to do after this is I kind of want to start looking at the sulfur tech tree. Start oh, yeah. working on black powder and smokeless powder. Yes, yes, we yeah. I think, really want that. Yeah. So I think that might be... You know, just you know, I just tra transition into a transition from from power to arms manufacturing, like the rest of the world, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> yeah, good old good old Shinra strategy there. Well, actually, no, that was them in reverse. But they started as an arms manufacturer. They they became an energy company. Who's All right, what what direction am I headed here? Hey, okay, cool. Uh, My ramps are gradual enough that the truck doesn't have any problem going around them. Excellent. I am carrying too much stuff. Ah, <sighs> rock climbing, deep hurting. <laughs> <laughs> rock climbing, Joel. Rock climbing. But you have that, so I don't need to be doing that. You know what to do with those. All right, I think up there is where I need to go. All right, I picked up a bunch of iron ingots. Let's dump those in the thingy. Go smashy. Once more time to build a uh, middle finger to the heavens. <laughs> ah, that brings back memories. problem building structures that defy the laws of God and man. This is something I've learned about myself playing this game. Alright, now somewhere up here. Or in the other direction entirely. But I have the vantage point now to know that. If Anakin were nearby, you could tell him you have the high ground. Yeah. And it's over. Unfortunately, it is very far from over. Nine tickets. We're so close. So close. Right, I'm waiting for HMFs. But again, we're doing like the, the package that has the glass foundations. It's it's basically the frame thingy. Uh, architecture structural frame set. 
has frame foundations, frame floors, glass frame foundations, and frame ramp and inverted frame ramp, which is kind of fun for doing. I'm I'm attaching this structure to a rocky wall, kind of looking things. Yeah. It, it's an all around good set. I, I love the frame foundations. You just can't stand on them. I mean, you can if you find the exact right spot. But so interesting hall here. The autopilot for the truck is following my path exactly the way I drove it. It's slowing down at the at coming down off ramps. It's taking careful turns. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it just pretty much records your inputs almost exactly. Yep. I forgot to put like an actual high speed belt on the screws part of this. That's why we're getting HMF so slowly. Oh, yeah, that would do it. It only needs 10 and 30 per minute of the other things, but it needs 200 per minute of Rad's Dragon screws. All right, another hard drive in the hopper. Until I get three more HMFs, I can't build the other manufacturer. All right, now we're going basically across the plateau, right? Uh, we're going, yeah, we're going up top and all the way across. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're cr crossing the chasm on the way to... Uh... Yeah, Total Eclipse uses that, that canyon as his route out to uh, out to the oil fields, which I think is an interesting idea. Instead of going through the southern canyon, like where you've got your uh, plastic and rubber production, just go up through that northern canyon. Oh, look at that! There's a there's a truck just trundling along what are we what are we building the truck for again i kind of forgot uh quartz. the quartz mm. quartz delivery and experimenting with things because that's what we're doing this game is playing with stuff we never touched before yeah that's true <laughs> that's, that's very true we are this this are like collective third game or so depending on how many alternate <laughs> saves we have this is the game for uh, just kind of trying whatever. All right, so across the top. Oh yeah, so here's your... Oh, that's interesting. It has these little... I can set it to hide those. I was just, but... No, 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 I actually kind of like it. Ooh, I have an excellent view of the desert from the cliffs right now. Seeing oh, a space elevator it. in the distance. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it bonked. Is it going to fix itself? I can no, see because the, it's I can see the literally ironworks. the motion you moved. And I have it set to wait. I set, have it set to wait 10 seconds before it takes off again. Did it actually offload? Yeah, look at it. Yeah. And then I have this station supplying the power so the, so the fuel so the one down there doesn't have to. Okay, one thing you're definitely going to need at some point is to overflow this. Yeah, I will. Believe me, I, I, that is the lesson I learned from the drones. Is yeah, that uh, will get backed why, up otherwise. That's why there's a smart splitter here. So all cool. overflow will be going to a sink. I just wanted to make sure this was working first before doing that. Oh, yeah. No, that is really cool. I'm now on the, the plateau. Eventually, once we get the... There's, uh, a, very, the... there's a very pretty spring here. Once, once we get the asphalt 
customization, I'm going to turn all this into asphalt so it looks nicer. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, I've never been up there. That's got to be really cool. I'm now looking forward to watching the video. <laughs> of this. There's a mixtape floating up here. Huh. Um, oh, a discoverable mixtape for the boombox? Yeah. I might That's as well neat. grab it. That's cool. I, yeah. Might as well. Hunt down boombox tape. Sink. Oh, I just need more. It's not even in my inventory. I guess it's just unlocked. For when we unlock that, I guess. <laughs> so, the five stacks of concrete I took with me, I finally ran out of. <laughs> Making this whole thing. It was going to happen eventually. Awesome sink. It's going to chill right there. Oh, I can take off this slime right here. That's okay. I think I'm going to take advantage of the fact that you've done a whole bunch of work over here. Uh huh. And there we go. Cram a computer facility right next to it. Oh, yeah. HMFs, computers. Because I need two of these things to make computers. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of open space to the to the right, like under the space elevator over here. That's kinda what I'm looking at, yeah. Alright. Yeah, there's already uh there's already smart splitters on the ones leading to the bin, so you can just siphon off some of it from there. Sweet. The just build like a uh conveyor wall or something to lead them out. The ninety motors worth of hard drives have been defeated. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! I got all the 30 oh. motor ones. <gasps> nice. We have now cleared the wall of motors. <laughs> How do I get back down? <laughs> I should Oops. Put, probably should that was that really dumb. Back. I don't like that. Oh, geez, and I'm now looking down at my petroleum refinery. Very nice. I'm I am literally on the cliffs looking down at my basic petroleum products refineries. Oh, geez, right, the views are insane. The overflow on the smart splitter has been set up. Make a small change though. Stop. Stop. All right, where am I going next? I see what you're doing there, but that's not what we're going to be doing. There we go. That's much better. I, uh, a little bit of foresight, um, I put a small bin right in front of the smasher, so that way oh, the overflow has something to somewhere. fill up and not get backed up itself trying to go into the smasher. That works. Just, uh, had a thought. Computer. Now I just need to run down to the other thing. Boy, am I glad I've got the Blade Runners to reduce fall damage. <laughs> Oops. There should be a hard drive that just takes rubber down here in the canyon. Rubber and a little power. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's one that takes screws and power, and there's one that just takes the 10 rubber. Yep. 
and one it's is, just a little ways past. Yeah, one is down the valley. One is back up on the opposite cliff. <laughs> I need to be able to build an assembler, which takes rotors. Yep, here we go. Here's another crash site. Crash site number four today. And it's actually guarded. Okay. Time to strafe like the Dickens. Ellie. There we go. Both stations are named. What am I doing? Grab some more of those. Oh, hard drive's ready. Alright. Oh, come on. Really? Why am I suddenly having a hard time using these? There we go. Yeah, if you don't approach the jump pads just right sometimes, it's like, nope. Yeah. That I shall found not the... Yeah, I found that I have to hold forward on the first one, and then I'm fine. Circuit board, modular frame, screws. <gasps> what? What did we get? What'd we get? Circuit board. Katerium computer. Oh. Uh, it also uh. gave us fine concrete back and insulated cable, but I really don't care about any of those things because... Katerium computer. Katerium computer. It just takes rubber, quick wire, and circuit boards. Uh, you know basically what all gets made out of the Caterium plant? <laughs> I was gonna say, that is like all... Yeah, I'm just gonna move that thing I just built somewhere entirely different. And I'm we gonna... get more permanent out of it. Hell yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if there's a copper note nearby there that I can specifically oh, I have all only my rubber make to make copper the sheets. Darn gas mask, of course. So let right, me... Well, gee, where am I going to find somewhere. 10 rubber? If only there was a petroleum refinery <laughs> within walking distance. If only. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shucky darn. After I had just placed the stupid manufacturer going, well, uh, this is I'm committed to this now. Yeah, and... you got to move it. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm not committed to this anymore. <laughs> small price to pay, pay, small price to pay for convenience, I suppose. Yeah, that is. I'm just gonna take it Quiet. straight off the straight off the conveyor belt. The ten rubber I need for this. Nice. There are worse ways to go. Okay, got what I need. Throw right. some more rotors in the motor maker. Where is? This, way. Uh, this spot is right oh, on hey. like the the loading zone between some of the desert and uh, forest assets. <laughs> All right, you also want? Oh, you just want the rubber? Okay. Okay, yeah. Have there it. is Eat a it. copper node not far from the Caterium plant. I can get some copper sheets made and over to. Uh, this a spot for computers. yeah we won't even need the cables anymore because now it's quick wire instead of cables it, mm -hmm. it takes the number of things we need from four to three that's and takes screws out of the equation oh wow that's amazing All that right. is another hard drive amazing. cooking guess I gotta go up now oh and that one's surrounded by <laughs> by poison plants <laughs> Thank goodness I gas mask is gas mask is finally gonna start paying dividends. 
Oh, I can also change our HMF recipe now. What's that? You need a whole bunch of concrete? Whatever will I do? Change image. Yeah. There we go. Now, have a. I'm pretty sure. I do have a portable miner on me. Yes, good. It's not enough for a miner mark two. But when I'm just going to be making copper sheets here, I think I only need the mark one. Okay, HMF production has been changed to the cheaper, slightly faster recipe. Oh yeah, walking through a poison cloud like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yay, gas masks. No longer have to chug my precious uh, inhalers. These. Oh, right. And then need. Oh, some plasma spitters died here. <laughs> At your hand, or just... No, no, there's just remains sitting here. I can only uh, assume which means from the poison. There were stingers, or the poison, yeah. They, they were spitter remains, specifically. Well, but stingers will obliterate anything they Oh, that's here. true, yeah. I've run into hog remains that were like, where did these come from? And there was not anywhere near any poison. All right, copper sheet. Any other dropped materials? No, Please, that's a shame. Two, four, six. Go. All right, what do you want from me? Uh, you want screws and 10 megawatts. It wants 15 screws. I have 1,090. I think I can make Heck that happen. Yeah. Might have enough, yeah. Just from this, because there's always screws at a drop site. Oh, well, that's funny. I, I... All right, where else can I yeah, go from here? Holster that barrel nut. Sounds about right. And there's 40 megawatts across the way. There's a river there, and then lay off in that direction. All right, give me that again. Takes plastic and copper sheets, and rubber and quick wire. Okay, so you're right. This is all right here. There's a nice bit of opening uh, between the Caterium plant and the new copper location I'm making. Which conveniently has uh, two iron nodes sitting out here if we ever need iron for anything out here. Yeah. You're right, this I'll... is kind of a nice little spot over here. I'm actually can... thinking I'm going to put it uh, like Kind of over here-ish, that way it's like right near the hypertube back okay. home. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm I gonna get... need I need two of these two of these products are coming right out of these two bins. Yeah. I can so get the copper right sheets. I can get the copper sheets over here, no problem. Let's see if you hijack a Well, I've oh. I've reached the Spire Coast. Nice. Ah. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a short hop from the, you know, tiny oil field I'm using. But I'm building a bridge way up to one of the top of the spires to find another dang hard drive. Somewhere. And plastic. Okay. So 
first things first, need the assembler. Just need mergers. And what comes out of there? It's not on top of this thing. That complicates matters. What? Uh... Actually, I wonder... No, the truly really they updated the map for... locations after the Spire Coast was implemented, right? Oh boy. It's that. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so I've got this uh, assembler over here. Mm hmm. That will be making the circuit to boards. So all it really takes is getting the input to uh, the copper mo coppermost side of this so just come underneath the uh hyper tube and up yeah that's all that'll take i'm I'm just going to run ugly looking belts over here yeah sounds about right i need to make a quick run to the ironworks because i need is it possible to detect uh, crash sites lights. with the object scanner yet or um, uh it's the it's the warm cold kind of detect yeah, I could use that right now, though. <laughs> it's it's one of the MAM things. I don't know if we've actually unlocked it, but it is unlockable. I yeah. think that one takes a hard drive to unlock. Uh, no. No. There's only a couple things that take hard drives to oh, unlock, and that's oh, the fuels. Radio signal scanning takes 100 crystal oscillators, 100 motors, and one object scanner in the quartz node. Or quartz tree. Well, we've got some crystal oscillators already there. Crystal oscillators aren't hard to make. They're just... I can't even I've got a small can. handful on hand, but not that much. Yeah, I put some in the bin at some point. I took some because some of the hard drives I had eyes on required crystal oscillators. Uh, poison plants and a whole bunch of junk. All right. Oh, I think I've got eyes on it now. All right, I gotta do a little bit of climbing. All right, it's also the quick wire. I need to get quick wire over this thing. Yeah, this is a very different biome now. Oh, hi. You weren't there a second ago. <laughs> That's always my favorite. Alright, what's that? Yeah, I would rather you didn't. Oh, there's a different... It's a different variety of alpha spitter. Oh! It had a slightly different design to it. Also, stun rebar is really good. <laughs> Getting us some uh, walkways up here. Yeah. I don't need leaves. I. Uh, yes. Yeah. To go go up. Yeah. That was the plan. I just needed a wall in place real quick. You just need four. Okay, so why are you putting that over here? Because it matches up with these two inputs. I'm only using one, but it's so that I can get it up from the ground and into this while getting over this conveyor you've put right here. Because this conveyor is oh. in the way. 
What happened? That was that was me. That was the power grid I'm trying to set up to get the drop pod open. Oh, oh, I hate that. Uh. Okay. Oh, so you're talking about this is for the quick wire then? Uh, this is for the copper sheets. You don't need the copper sheets over here. I need them over here. Oh, you need it over there. Okay. But okay. go ahead and leave that leave that thing because I'm gonna I'm gonna I was going to run. Okay. Um, the quick wire through here anyway. Does that line yeah, up? Yeah, that'll be... Okay. Yeah, All right, lines up I'm with opening the hard drive. Uh, we have crystal computers, which is crystal oscillators and circuit boards into computers. Which, no. No. Uh, God, I have no. to make crystal oscillators. Yeah. Fused wire. Wait, is, it, is that a... What, what, what ingredients is in that? Uh, crystal oscillators and what? And circuit boards. And just those two things? Yeah. So you'd need copper sheets, plastic, uh, quartz, crystals, cables, and rips to make computers. So they, they require you to make a different thing in a manufacturer to be able to make computers out of an assembler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's No, basic. still no. Still but I'm no. just amused that that is how they went with that. The, pro the, the other alternatives are not great. They're fused wire again, which is copper ingot plus cotarium ingot to make a bunch of wire. And bio coal. Yeah. Bio coal. Uh -huh. Okay, then. Uh, is that what am I thinking? What I think I'm thinking? I mean, probably. I'm going to go with fused wire. There we go. Yeah, it, it's none of the options are great. All right, they're just putting in another around. hard drive. All right, this is probably as far west as I really want to go. I think I'm just going to head out via the valley and pick up some along the south end. Still, I'm going to have probably picked up about like six to eight hard drives by the end of this, so I'll feel pretty accomplished. As, as we run the quick wire literally right underneath the... Uh... Yeah, they're just kind of weaving around each other. Oh, right. I need to finish getting the, uh, the rubber plastic and plastic. Because this thing needs the plastic. Uh, so I'm just going to... Like, I don't need a lot, I don't think. Yeah, it's only 30 per, so I'll just do a quick lift on that. No, nope, 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 we're not doing that. Oh, absolutely not. I didn't even think about that part. <laughs> that was sloppy. Kaboom. Okay. So, rubber, quick wire, and circuit boards. And we now have the things we need to make the circuit boards getting in here. We just need to run power. Oh, look, there's a t thing right here. <laughs> the other part of the reason I was like, yeah, let's just build right here. <laughs> Convenient, powerful. You're just building a, a computer works right there. Yep. And because all the stuff we need is literally right here. That's really and good. it's funny because it's going to it's gonna make them at full speed on this manufacturer. It's insofar as full speed is a thing with computer making, but yeah. All right, big storage bin. Just waiting for those circuit boards. 
Uh, how big of a belt did we put on that? Oh, right. It's only going to be... Oh, did we not? Where no, we didn't. I? I'm not very smart. There we go. Oh, I should be looking at, like, <laughs> stuff here. I'll just cram <clears throat> some plastic in there, and I had some of those as well, so... I'm force-feeding it a little bit of extra go juice. Yeah. I'm amused. What? Uh, look at the side of the big bin. <laughs> we do. We do computer things. <laughs> I mean, this is very temporary spaghetti, as far as I'm concerned. Like, again, mm -hmm. one once we are at trains, we make trains and trains go zoom. This will get torn out. Yeah. This is the most temporary. What we just need an actually automated, not hand fed computer solution. And the circuit boards are starting to show up. Which brings to me the next question, which is, oh, seven and a half per minute, it's not bad. But it could be better. Charge How about 11 and a quarter per minute? A. That'll probably make the computer works. The, com the manufacturer happy. Yeah, because uh, it needs 26.25 per minute. 20. It's always going to be underfed. There's nothing I can do about that. But I can... Up there, maybe? There we go. 60 plastic per minute, 30 copper sheets per minute, 15 circuit boards per minute. It's still going to be underfed, but not disastrously so. Mm-hmm. Okay, now back to the barn, because I'm carrying a bunch of staters that need to get turned into uh, motors. Oh, that must be it. All right. There's a bit of deduction involved in, like, going from a point on the satisfactory map to, like, what spot specifically? Yeah, it gives you elevation, but it's like, that doesn't tell you how to get there. Like, what's my approach? Oh, hallelujah. We have a however rudimentary computer manufacturer. Yeah, I really feel like the only way to hit these jump pads just right is to really kind of hop onto them and aim for the middle. Mm -hmm. If you just walk up to them in any way, it's not going to work. Yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Faders are in. Rotors. What elevation did it say in? in? We've got like 150 motors, so... I guess it's not up here. Oh, what are we out of? What are we out of? Steel pipes. Get a rope. <laughs> All right, so the good news is the computers are on the way. Oh, there it is. Bad okay. news is we still need eighty four of them. And whatever I got stuffed in my pockets. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. HMF thingy is still ticking oh, along. Geez, it did not no. run completely out of stuff. We have over 50 of them. Hot dog. Nice.
Yeah, we actually now make less tickets because we're now stealing a bunch of rubber and plastic to make computers, but we need the computers. Having said that... There it is, jeez. Hey! Motor, Glass water, floors. Water. Oh, hi. <sighs> what do you want? Right. Power and EIBs. I had to save a photo of the hub zone and part of the space elevator as seen through the green goo of the landing pad. Pad. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Dr. Bell. There we go. All right, I'm going to head back to base to unload because I'm full. How many computers are you carrying? I'm carrying 16. Yeah, well, that doubles what we've got in the uh, thing, my jobber. And some heat sinks. Oh yeah, hang on to those. Actually, possibly sink those. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, I just picked up 11 more computers from our new computer production. Copper rotor, copper rotor, copper rotor! Really? Yeah! Okay, what are the other options, just so we... Uh... Uh, steel canister and coated iron canister. Packaging. Fuel packages? Mm hmm Yeah, so the copper rotor then, yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Wow. I'll put the other next hard drive in while I'm on my way back. Oh yeah, that's copper rotor means what does it mean? Um, it means I can make rotors at the copper works. Well, kind of. Uh, basically, what it does is it replaces the iron rods with uh, copper sheets, but you still need screws. Yeah, I have but an iron node right next to But you make almost three times as many per minute. Yeah. Oh, so your production man. goes through the roof. I, I've got an I've got a normal iron node right next to the copper works, and uh, there's even a little lonely copper node out here all by itself. Uh, do you realize we've got an unused copper node right next to the motor facility? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that's there, and I'm the one that put the miner on it. <laughs> it's been sitting there lonely for so long. It's almost become Waiting a fixture for its of the time. Hub. It is a fixture of the hub. Like you still got to come up with screws from somewhere, and all the iron nodes over here are well. No, there's the little baby iron node up here. You could probably just steal some off of that. Oh, anyway, right. I brought hard drives for, or not hard drives. I brought computers for a reason. Boop, boop. Oh, we're almost halfway there. Living on a prayer? <laughs> Something like that. Grab me some more concrete. Should grab me some more, more concrete, because I also need to feed the HMF facility. Bonk.
right, EIBs. Because once we get the computers in for that, it only takes 50 computers for the other thing we were going to unlock. Wait, how are we making staters previously? Uh, they're split off from steel pipes from the steelworks. Oh, staters, not rotors. I'm, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> rotors and staters, I, I, they, they become interchangeable in my head. Oh yeah. Yeah, they really do. I got to see this truck now. You've been talking it up ever since I left. <laughs> Well, it just took off to the court station, so it'll be back in a little bit. Well, I've seen it go. Ah, the route. The route markers are here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of, like, eventually we'll want to turn them off, but it's kind of neat to see that's how it's operating. Also, you know, mounds of silica and, uh... Mm hmm All right, you do need some silica for... Oh, right, silica for the glass floors we can now make. And that is why silica is now at the hub. That's pretty slick to get, get uh, basic... Quartz products, yeah. Like, it's not fast, but it's automated and doesn't involve a bunch of exposed belting hither and yon. Yeah. Badly Good. do I want to upset my fear heights. <laughs> All right, I think I can grab a couple For me, more. the answer to that question is almost never. <laughs> <laughs> Glass elevator platform. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. No. <laughs> I can't. I can't even joke about it without my spine going, uh-uh, no. <laughs> I, I feel it in my feet and my knees. <laughs> I, I don't know why that's how my fear of heights kicks in. But my knees turn to rubber and it's like my feet feel funny. I like I don't know what that's about. Hey, like look fine. at you. All right. Off to grab a couple more hard drives and then probably call that a good session of adventuring for now. Just barely squeaks under that arch, doesn't it? All oh, right. I didn't I need to see the truck before it leaves again. It's on its way. The jumping part of a slide jump with the Blade Runners can kind of catch up to it a little bit, but then you're back on the ground and it gets away from you. Yeah. But I'm mostly keeping up with it. Hold, hold crouch before you hit the ground and hit jump om almost a second after you hit the ground and you can actually pick up a little bit of speed. Here it comes. Following those little triangles. I can't believe in this game we've implemented jump pads and trucks. I love that it picks <laughs> up a box out of nowhere. Ah, eh, close enough, it says. Yeah, basically. I have yeah. materialized the box of delivery from nothingness and away and goes the truck and it's because um it hits the hitbox of the station before it's actually in place ah uh, i could fix the route so that it doesn't do that but i uh, thought it was funny it's kind of cute hilarious. that it kind of crashes into the uh truck station slightly <laughs> yeah uh that's not where i stopped it but because the start markers are always in the same place it bonks 
I can't move the start markers. Learning experience. Yeah, basically. And really, it's kind of hilarious, so. Yeah. <laughs> it just bonk. It, it, it's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've definitely learned how I could do it better. Like, I definitely didn't position this truck station very well, but that's okay. I'm enjoying myself. I am bopping out to see if we've got some more computars. And I am popping out because that direction lies the next couple of crash sites I want to check. Oh, did you get the one... Uh, to the south. Oh no, that's what you already did. That that's the one you ran in, ran in and ran out without dying. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yep, I got. You already that braved one. that. <laughs> Just shoved barrel nuts in my mouth to get through it. <laughs> arm, 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 arm. Trying to live in this game is close to giving yourself eating disorders just eat to survive well then there's the you know the coffee mug you can't drink from <laughs> if you double click you bonk it against your helmet it's great yep which is funny because drinking. you you eat the barrel nuts and raspberries and bacon agaric how are you eating those but not able to drink your beverage uh, Repeat to yourself, it's just a game. I should really just <laughs> relax. <Yep. laughs> Ludo narrative, what a nice. I have more. never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be past the halfway mark once I deliver these. Hey. So, yes, getting that new recipe was. Definitely a big help. Huzzah! Mm -hmm. Glad to help. All right, somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Unauthorized hostility, eh? Authorize this. Heading back. I want to see. Boy, the spread huh. on the shattery bar is not consistent. <laughs> huh. That's really funny to me. Huh. Okay, so recycled plastic is the turn rubber and fuel into plastic. We've had the reverse of that show up. Mm -hmm. They gave us solid steel ingot, which mm. instead of using iron ore, uses iron ingots plus coal to make uh, steel ingots. It's basically it's a rate increase, but you have mm -hmm. to put smelters in front of your iron, which hmm. meh. meh. It uses one less coal, though, per Oh, that is a thought. Because that's yeah. two ingots and two coal instead of three ore and three coal. Oh. Well, it's it's per it's the per minute rate I'm worried about though. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can bring up Nope, second, let me let me X out of this or escape out of this. Just hit E and walk away from it. Uh deal ingot. Expand. Okay, so it does actually reduce the per minute use. Because uh, the standard recipe is 45 per minute coal, and the new recipe would be 40. And then it's the same with the, the instead of having 45 iron ore per minute, it's the what, 40, uh, 40 ingots per minute. And mm -hmm. you get more steel ingots out. The third alternative is the steel rotor, which is steel pipes plus wires make rotor. It is another screw removal. And that is actually one that could be made at the steelworks because it's got copper wires going to it anyway. 
I feel like that's a better anything that takes screws out of the picture makes me happy, honestly. Because mm -hmm. uh, refactoring <clears throat> the steelworks to have smelters in front of the ore, like yeah, it'll help a little bit, but that's a lot of extra power draw to get slightly more steel per minute. Which, we get a decent amount of steel right now, but that's something we can always come back and grab if we see it again later. If it comes up again later, yeah. I'm going to get the steel rotor. I, I like removing screws from things. Because, like, Select. copper rotor is good, but I'm going to have to go through a lot of effort just to get it set up. But that one, that one's perfect. For the way our things are set up right now. Cool. Yes, Steam. I know my brother is playing Satisfactory. He's here in the same game as me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting the pop of like four times now <laughs> that Spud's playing Satisfactory. I'm like, yes, I know this. I'm right here. Did you know? Okay, going off mic and AFK for just a couple minutes. Okay. Comply. There we go. Every so often I gotta, uh -huh. the, the wire on my mic comes loose and I gotta remind it to start working again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just finding more and more reasons to once again overhaul my biofuel factory. Yeah, it's it's starting to actually have a use, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, like, the protein inhaler is just barrel nuts and alien protein. And it's just like, I've just got alien protein getting turned into solid biofuel and the alien data capsules right now. Being able to automate inhalers would be pretty sweet, yeah. We need 42... Like, it would be hand-fed on the on the barrel nut side, but I could get it. I could get a thing set up that we just toss barrel nuts in and we get inhalers out of it. Oh. Hmm. We technically have the potential ability to unlock radar towers. Oh. What? Where? We need 50 crystal oscillators. 50 heavy mod frames, which we have, and 100 circuit boards, which we don't have because the circuit boards are getting crammed right into the computer maker as they get made. But that is a possibility once we are making circuit boards on a more industrial level. Mm -hmm. And okay. radar towers are freaking cool. Radar towers are awesome. Yeah, opening up the map would be pretty sweet. Oh, right, it's the sulfur. You're chasing the sulfur products, and everything is locked behind that smokeless powder unlock. Mm-hmm. All right, I am going to start. I've got two more hard drives. I'm going to start making my way back. Fantastic. And that'll be probably all the adventuring I need for a while. All right. Uh, the the, the ma'am is not currently scanning a hard drive. Uh, there should be some in the Dropbox next to it. Oh. I, okay. I dropped, yes, there I dropped, are. I'm, I dropped off my uh, previous hard drive haul. Nice. I'm doing it. I'm going to overhaul my uh, biofuel factory. Okay. I'm going to start doing 
the prep work for the Steelworks expansion, even though I can't feed it yet, once we have the Mark IV belt, I'll be able to drop in what I need. Yeah. Laying out all of the 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 machines is half the battle, really. Yeah, put put down the concrete, put down the machines, reroute the power, and just be ready to go. I'm also foraging for food items while I'm out here because why not? All right, ain't no reason why not. Need. Ah, I see the ironworks. Always a big gray block monument to navigate the desert with. Mod frames and rotors. Well, unlike okay. when you first built this place, rotors should not be a problem right now. Yeah, no kidding. We have over 100 heavy mods in the bank right now. Unfortunately, I did go. not get any more exciting materials from those two crash sites. That's fine. And on reflection, I should have saved some of those heat sinks because one of the next nearby ones wants heat sinks. But oh well. Oh! All right, drop it off. Uh, Two, which means we have another. Then. We have three remaining hard drives yet to scan. Rotors, rotors, right here. Duh. There. But while purple goes to f makes five power shards. Since it's been a few minutes, I will go make the hypertube trek back and forth to grab whatever computers we've got. Never a bad plan. Seven more. We're so close. We're going to be at 89 out of 100 by the time I drop these in there. Into the jelly I go. Ha ha ha, I see someone is playing with the glass floors. Absolutely. Sunroof time. I'm just trying to decide if this has a second floor or not, and I think it needs one. Let's see, also. That makes me so happy. All right. Okay.
No. Well, I picked up a grand total of like 74 HMFs from all of my expeditions. Pop those in the nice. cumulal bucket, or the, uh, the HMF bucket. Oh, so close. Yeah, excuse okay. me. Ow. leg over that. I have made a bin to put barrel nuts into so that way this thing can make one of the versions of the medicinal inhalers. That moment where you're really grateful that whoever ran the conveyor splitters did it right down the middle of a foundation so you can use it to math out how far away to put the foundry on the other side so the uh, belts will just match. Yeah. Heck yeah. That was probably... Well, depending on where you're at, that was probably me. actually gonna work does it let you cram it in that close that's hilarious I've got some power re rearranging to do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this was very slapdash. That's fine. Probably going to put up... Honestly, I'm probably going to put up like a wall yeah. arrangement here. Just continue on from this set of walls here and use that to... Get some power out. I call replace them with windows at some point, but for now it's just just get me set up. Y'all building buildings over here, and I'm just sitting here next to the lab, <laughs> <laughs> taking a little breather and waiting for Those research to be conducted. Those three and go up. <sighs> yeah, now I need to think about. Where I'm gonna do? Where I'm gonna do arms manufacturing? Oh, the thing where you can just grab a grab a cable and like move it. That's wild. Put a wall in a really stupid spot there. Eh, that didn't really turn out how like I wanted though. So, oh well. Where are we going to find a source of sulfur and coal that I can just use? Keep up. Give me a Not second. Really. Sorry. Did do that right. Nice. All right, ma'am says 
a steel canister. Steel ingot into empty canister. Back Dilu to that again, huh? Diluted packaged fuel, which is heavy oil residue plus packaged water into packaged fuel. Oh, it needs packaged water? Yeah. You have to package water first. Yeah. And then send, yeah. send the packaged water into a refinery along with heavy oil residue. Ay, ay, ay. Or flexible frameworks, which is uh, versatile frameworks made out of uh, modular frames, steel beams, and rubber. We're back to that versatile framework for the space elevator shipment thing again. Yeah. I'm thinking versatile, uh, flexible framework. Okay, flexible. It was flexible framework and the packaged steel canister steel. and diluted packaged fuel. Both of which are wow. Why would you turn steel products into that? Yeah. Yeah, I I go with it. That's it's as good a choice as any. Yep. While I'm here, gonna finish off the alien organisms tree. New object. Okay, so I can't inhaler. automate inhalers, unfortunately, but I can at least have a bin set up that will have the alien protein we can just go pick up. I'm gonna bring home the remaining computers. Oh, yeah, good idea. Because we only need 11 of them. I mean, we'll need 50 more after that, but... All right, and the power to the foundries at the steelworks is now basically a series of Mark II poles tucked in between the various belts, but it's tidy-ish. Yeah. I'm only powering this for amusement value, or testing, I should say, but... Ugh. All right, say hello to Expanded Power Infrastructure. Hey. Hello, Expanded Power Infrastructure. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Criterium scanning unlocked. My logistics bar now has two more things on it. Because, yes, I do have my... my Hotbar 1 is devoted entirely to belts and lifts. Nice. 1 and 2 is Mark 1, 2 and 3 is Mark 4, or Mark Mark 2, etc. What I've ended up doing this playthrough is just having the Mark 1 belt, but then I press E to cycle through them. <laughs> That's kind of how it turned out. So now I can take the output of the ore... Boop, boop, boop. I gotta get some more EIBs so I can replace all the lifts as well, but the iron ore is now being routed to the foundries at Ridiculous speeds. Nice.
I also need to do similar things to the coal. I know I, I turned one of you guys into a Mark II. Which one was it? <laughs> You're a Mark I miner, so you don't need a higher, faster belt yet. We can make fuel power plants now, in theory. Yep. All right, I've got most of the materials for the uh, monorail train in the personal storage box right next to the hub terminal. Excellent. Just need the remaining computers. My role to get today is gopher. <laughs> and suddenly my first new foundry is already getting well supplied. is I don't think the math entirely works out on okay we've got the two iron nodes cranking out all they can to make steel but I'm not sure that the three coal will let me double them up because you're already you already had one of them as a mark two anyway yep so making the other two into mark twos doesn't does not entirely double it, no. fix the problem though power shards exist so yes yeah, you're going to have to overclock to act to actively double production there. Cuz unfortunately there was there was a mismatch between like the coal available there and the iron available there. And so we were already building around that. Eh, not the end of the world. I don't know if I, it's it's mildly terrifying to see a second level being built for the biomass processing plant. <laughs> There's How some things, biomass you think we're really going to turn stuff into. Well, it's more like turning materials into various things including biomass. Right, as we it's kill critters, we feed them in one end and other stuff comes out the other end. And we just Basically, don't, we just don't ask get... questions about the middle. <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> no. That, that's Nix's domain. Nix do knows it. what goes on in that building. We don't, and we don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. Yep. <laughs> Still, just like, dark things are being pl pl planned out here. Watching it be built in real time. That one, wait, no. It's gonna clip. That won't though. Get that one across, and then those two turn into that one. There we go. Nice. That.
Yeah, the only thing, I, the only problem with this densely packed steelworks is trying to replace the lifts and things. You're like navigating through this. Like I it can't see where very, I'm going. It, it was very spaghetti. Okay, that is now Mark for everything's going to the foundries. Nice. And I still have one more foundry to place. Uh, copy. So, so happy whenever packs arrive. I just want to look down on all this and just have it all work. Yeah, no kidding. Me realizing that I have Mark IVs to deal with when I absolutely need them for how much bio fuel it makes. <laughs> Good timing, I'm huh? Go pick up some EIBs. Yes, it is very good timing. Like, we unlocked those the instant we were like, we are going to need Mark IVs here. Now I stock up on EIBs Actually, and just carry those around for the rest of my life. How are we doing on... Kinda. Ooh. Our power consumption is at 2,300 of 3,600. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. We're on the verge of using like two thirds of what. Uh... Still, it means that uh, expanding the coal power was a very good idea because we've already exceeded its, the original uh, original production. There is that. We would have hit the cap if I had not expanded the coal power plants. Uh, All right, better look at the ma'am. All right. Oh, oh, uh, oh, it's still four minutes out. Okay. The pod. We can't uh, start putting more stuff in because. Oh, uh, these are. Uh, well, huh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, -oh. uh crystal beacon. No. Oh. Which yeah, I'm just not even going to read that out. Oh yeah, because beacons are obsolete. Yeah. Uh, steel rod. Steel ingots into it's, iron rods. You basically yeah, making a basic iron product out of an expensive steel product. But Third, third one oh. is is actually kind of interesting to me, at least. Coated iron canister, which is iron plates plus uh, copper sheets into empty canisters. Instead of plastic. I mean, Instead of plastic. That's Taking out plastic is kind of huge. You it's, being it's, able it's to potentially use potentially good. It's it, it's got potential. Whereas one of the one of the other options is straight up obsolete, and the other one is straight up wasteful. Yeah. I so... mean, unless you somehow had a situation where you needed steel rods. Wait, but steel takes iron anyway. So if you yeah. were near iron to make steel, you'd be able to make rods. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Yeah, what, no. That... What hypothetical situation are you in? Where it's like I've got all these steel ingots, but I need iron rods in this production line somewhere, and I don't want yeah. to bring in more iron. It's like it's not impossible that you, there would be a use case, but but on the other hand, I can see the packager a packaging situation where we want to package like water and not be anywhere near plastic manufacture. Yeah. Yeah, that that to me is like that was actually like kind of interesting. And and those are like first level smelter to constructor iron products to make those. That's that's not bad. Yeah. Two two constructors and an assembler to make empty canisters. Okay, yeah. 
I need some portable miners. Not Without having to any. sink byproducts from plastic. <laughs> to yeah. Make, to make boxes and... Uh, it's like packaging has always been uh, a tall ask for that reason, just because, like, I, I don't want to... Refining petroleum products is already so much of a thing. Yep. Okay, I'm going to get that last coal node, get a Mark II miner on that. Upgrade the belting, and then I'll start actually taking those steel ingots, the new steel ingots I'm making, and start doing something with them. Hopefully. So there's the Mark II belt for that. I find it very interesting that we've gotten to computers without going too far from base. <laughs> well, getting that extra recipe. Yeah, that. Oh, well, yeah, we could have done it with the regular recipe. I was like, I was literally getting ready to do that. But being able to make it with all the stuff that's right near there, that's not bad. Okay. We now have three Mark II coal plants. I just gotta, at some point, sit down and do the math on what is that actually getting us. But first, I need to look at... Gotta feed the heavy mod frame machine. More EIBs. Gonna need more of those too. And done. most of the way there. Fantastic. And that is with the fresh delivery of computers, so we need to wait a little bit for the remaining 11. So pretty much what we do just before uh, calling the session is going to be uh, hitting the trains unlocked. Mm-hmm. Rotors and mod frames. Let's go. I need to make a delivery run as well. I'm still highly so amused that we've got a, a truck delivery line. <laughs> that is pretty cool, actually. All it needs is to be hand-fed some solid biofuel every now and then. Set the away. And eventually it'll, we can feed it the uh, packaged regular fuel when the time comes. And it'll use that more efficiently. Yeah. Not that it seems to be really going through the solid biofuel that fast. Yeah, no, not not too badly. Florp. I have become jello. Sounds like a great time. Okay, I've got more motors coming. 
And I'm refeeding the HMF builder. And we've got 150 in storage. It's a nice place to be. Yeah. that split there's the that split okay now I need to connect all those connect all those okay steel pipes steel beams and those are really the only things you can make out of ingots aren't they kind of yeah so i just need to add some constructors to yep. use up the new ingots i've made and you left me some room so yep i greatly appreciate that just kind of ended up that way Okay, so I only need so I think instead of trying to super math this out, I'm just going to go kind of half again as much. Just or or in that ballpark. Yeah. Just get some more out of this. Yeah, sounds without trying to go overkill. Sounds legit. And we've actually underclocked the EIB maker. Oh Why yeah, have because we got it because uh, <laughs> so that we could continue to make a decent amount of steel beams. Ah, well, steel beams will not be a problem shortly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> also, I've been hearing people clamoring about trains for so long. Yes. Hey. A new set of yeah. buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in Week power seven production, trains. Space transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability. At least unlocked. The transport of pioneers yeah. and cargo. Uh, I I know what I'll be doing pretty much first thing off next session. And what is that? Uh, figure out our first rail lines. Yup. Which then raises the question of where do we want things to get built next? So we can start planning. Okay, let's deliver these from here to there to there to there. Because for one thing, it would be nice to not have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to grab plastic and whatever. Yeah. And it also means building actual sites for the HMF motors and computers yeah that don't involve conveyor belt madness through the desert so we're you're planning on built planning out a department store <laughs> i don't know if we really want a central a super central hub but maybe more like Here's the train that carries the iron goods. It stops here and here and here and drops off things that, like, either things that people need or the things that this facility needs or here's a depot. Ah. Like, one of the cars is for the plant that needs the mod frames. The other car also has mod frames in it, but that's going to storage. Or something like that. I, I don't think it works exactly like that practically, but I, mm. I think that's one of those things we should probably ruminate over. Yeah, I, in I the think off time. Right on on rumination. Uh so sorry, ma'am ma'am drop real quick. Ooh, what do we get? Uh solid we'll get steel ingot makes a return. 
<laughs> Again. Uh, steel coated plate. Which, boy, I, I want you to guess what that what goes into that, what that makes. It, what is it? Does it make rips or iron plates? Iron plates. It can't make iron plates. It makes iron plates? Not even steel rips. Not even something useful and, like rips. And plastic to make 45 iron plates. To make there. a basic product. Yeah. And pure copper. Well, that hurts good. my brain. Um, pure is a water plus ore. Water right? plus ore, yeah. Okay, if none of either of the other options are appealing, grab the pure. Yeah, because Nix, you... Nix can tell you that the we have done some interesting things with pure. Mm-hmm. They make ridiculous you did, you, amounts. You did the math on the solid steel ingot and weren't impressed, right? Uh. It is. What I does it take again? It's uh, iron ingot plus coal to make steel ingot. Oh yeah, yeah. It was. It was. We we went from making forty to making forty five. Or no, it's forty five. It's like forty five to sixty though. Oh no, no. We, we did forty and forty per minute to get sixty per minute stealing. It's 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 nice. But you do have to but put in additional not, machines. Yeah. You've got additional machines. You're you're smeltering now. It, it's fine, but I really think unless unless one of us is really wild about that idea, yeah, I would say grab the pure because I mean, yeah, it takes a large chunk of machinery to deal with the pure, to get the, the water plus ore into ingots, but it makes a butt ton of ingots. Yeah, for it is a multiplier. Yeah, for for relatively less ore too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Nix and I in our uh, duo game, we set up like a whole bunch of those uh, refineries to do that, and we overdid it. It turned out we really mm -hmm. couldn't use more than one or two refineries worth, and we had to set up like six or eight of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we it was had. Like, we literally can't use all this. <laughs> Suddenly, Sorcerer's Apprentice worth of. Copy that was that was at the yeah that was at the mega works and we yep. had too many so we just let them sit there and rot. <laughs> not powered, not anything. Just sitting there going, well, maybe someday we'll need eight hundred more freaking iron ingots. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely monkey bonkers. Yeah. Well, I'm glad someone here has experience with that to confirm that. Yeah, it does look like an upgrade to ingot production. <laughs> I, I poo pooed them forever. Every time I saw that that recipe come up, and then someone online was like, "No, no, think about it. If you have this many think per of, minute, think of all the production. yeah, yeah. We we powered an entire HMF facility off of just a couple of refineries instead of you know eight smelters per. Oh node. yeah, yeah. It was like a couple of refineries, and even then, it was making ridiculous amounts. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. Just you know, need to. It's just you know, it's just being gun shy about water and having to do liquid engineering. <laughs> you know, it's not something we will build in the desert. No. Obviously. But as we expand into other parts of the biomes, will you please? <clears throat> okay. I need a merger here. I'm going to be cutting off our steel production for a moment. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Yeah. Uh, sure. I think I'll put Pipeline Mark II on the docket for now. I don't have a problem with that.
Actually, we can probably get that done with those materials, yeah. Just that's handy for, like, doing uh, fuel generators and whatnot. Having that yep. e extra liquid capacity. <clears throat> okay, that looks much nicer. I'm almost ready to power this beast. Uh-oh. You could not have put that in a more ominous way, and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> At least in terms of, like, word choice. These things only make 20 per minute, so that's... These two are power upstairs and power everything else. The only thing this building is missing now is doors. a whole bunch of mergers. Mergers, not the other mm. things. Because never made that mistake before. Never. Also, when you're in a busy factory with a whole bunch of like lines of this goes here. It's like, okay, is that the one for that output or is that one for the input at the other end of the building? Oh, uh, yeah. The biofuel factory is back to being usable. Oh, and I misplaced the very first one. Oh. It now has an exit bin for alien organism for alien protein and an input for stingers because I didn't have that before. <clears throat> I'll write this. I could still in, I expand it to like. Oh, we're put using the plastic here. Option. To, we're we're using the plastic here to make computers, huh? Yeah. That means we don't have any spare plastic. Oh, we we're not making enough to have spares. We're, no. Oh. Whoopsie. We, we have enough spare rubber, but not enough spare plastic because. Yeah, 40 is coming out of those refineries, and this circuit board assembler wants 60. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Awkward. So yeah, we have no plastic right now. Okay, I have almost doubled our steel ingot production and I have added one constructor to the things that are being made out of that. I'm going to put a couple more in here. What? Hi, kitty. Oh, staters. Hi. That's what. Hi, kitty. Oh. We're overclocking the staters? Are we? Yes, for some reason we're making seven and a half stages per minute with an overclocker. Huh. I wonder why that felt necessary. Probably oh, we before... added more wire. Oh, because yeah, we were desperate to make motors. Yeah. I really don't have a problem with continuing to do that because pretty soon we're going to fill up the uh, steel pipes anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, I'm, I'm only going to add a couple more machines to this entire process because like I added one more steel pipe maker but we don't need more than that <laughs> but a couple more steel beams that would not go amiss yeah <clears throat> a 
Hello, constructor, how you doing? And I'll put the other one on the other side. Okay. Again, we don't have to be super efficient. If some foundries are sitting there going, I'm bored now, that's their problem. <laughs> No, let's path out everything down to the... No. Yeah. That that phase was fun. We don't have to do that anymore. Right. It's nice to be 100% efficient, yeah. but sometimes you just, you just don't care. Yeah. Nope. May you do make 15? Wow. Steel production is slow. Yeah. Mm hmm. I need a merger. That's kind of why I was looking at the solid steel ingot, because, like, it's a slightly. Well, that doesn't really help with the steel beams, though. Never mind. Yeah, not really. It doesn't help. With, it just gives us more ingots to make stuff out of, and we've got ingots. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, where's our steel beam alternate recipe? Right. right. We'll know in 15 seconds. Oh boy. What do we get? Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. So crystal beacons we ignore. <laughs> yeah. Um a weird one insulated crystal oscillator. Hmm. Tell me more. Uh quartz crystals and rubber and a AI limiter. Huh. Quartz crystals, rubber. What's the normal one for those? Uh, quartz crystals, cables, and rips. And this one is only 1.875 per minute, which is just a little bit faster. Except it's that at one more. That This, this one only makes one per, while the normal... Recipe makes two. Makes two, though. but the, but the per minute rate way, is almost double, though. It uses way less quartz crystals, though. Ten, ten for insulated crystal oscillator, but thirty-six normally. You're also adding petroleum, though. Yeah, yeah. it's a petroleum product you're instead at, of. You're, yeah. You're the one that it, interests... it still takes the rips. Does it still take <clears throat> the rips? No, it doesn't take rips. It takes AI limiters, though, uh, which means you're doing uh, yeah, it takes oh, AI wire. Limiters. You're doing copper or cuterium stuff. Yeah. Oh, so it, one, it takes... Oh, yeah. yeah. The one that yeah. interests me is the silicon circuit board. Uh huh. Copper sheets and silica makes five circuit boards at 12.5 per minute. No petroleum product circuit board? No petroleum product circuit board, and I could set quartz, that up right freaking now. Quartz circuit board, though. Yeah. We are making so much silica. And it takes plastic out of the picture, which means no we can take we we could stop doing the plastic for the circuit board for the computers. Yeah, I could just Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one. That one. I'm on it. Set up spot That's production it. for computers somewhere else, but yeah. Well, yeah, we're th that computer thing was always absolutely temporary, so all right, better. Okay. 
Time to find out if there is any space in my copper works for me to get that going. <laughs> right. I need a splitter. I'm just going to disconnect okay, the plastic. Okay, I have from the I have computer added the manufacturer. We are now at five steel beam manufacturers or constructors instead of three. Nice. And we're at three steel pipe constructors instead of two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. You generally want like around twice as many beam constructors as, as pipe constructors. The only thing I just like, yeah, you need pipes for the stators, and you need pipes for other things eventually, but. Underclocking this. Well, I don't need to underclock the uh, EIBs thing anymore either. Now that I'm making a lot more steel. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You steel can, beams. You can just full 100% that. Crank one, that yeah. back up. I've disconnected the uh, plastic conveyor to the computer production so that we can have plastic back. Yep, mm -hmm. that's fair. We got the computers we needed at the time. Like That was always a temporary thing. That's just going to get ripped out as soon as we uh, have a better place to build it. Yep. I did an improvement to the steelworks. Uh oh, you did. Oh, hell yeah. No, I mean I just just generally I made I made things go faster. Yeah. Nice. And more. We are using all Mark II miners, all three of the coal, both of the iron. We've got double the uh, foundries. They won't be in use constantly. I think I'm not taxing them that hard, but the constructors are never going to be lonely. Of course, what that means is we now need to make some smart splitters and prepare to sink the overflow. Otherwise, we're going to have the whole thing back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that is not necessarily a today problem. No. No, no, it is not. In about seven minutes, we'll have enough plastic to finish off this milestone. I think, feel like that'll be a good, uh, a good point. Yep. Yeah. All right, we got the really expensive thing out of the uh, awesome shop that we wanted. Hmm. And we got the modern catwalks, which we really wanted. Got the structural frame set. Uh, well, I realized that windowed walls, actually, I don't use any of the windowed walls anymore because the steel frame windows contains the full frame window, which is just the cl clear pane with the two side pieces mm -hmm. and the hex frame window, which looks cool anyway. So I'm going to grab us that one. So we can actually start putting some windows in these things and mm. let some light in the sides. Heck yeah. Arms manufacturing and trains. Okay, yeah. that is a to-do list. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, one other project that might be worthwhile is maybe looking into fuel power, but I don't know. It's soon. It's, it's definitely it's, it's soon. soon. Yeah. Might be able to put it off for one more session. I feel like that's a probable. 
Oh wow, look at that. Oh, you just went all glass, didn't you? Sure did. That is full on see-through. Although if we're gonna be building like train networks, that'll start adding. Yes, that puts some load on. You're looking at, you know, 50 megawatt minimum just to exist and up to 150 megawatts under load. Yeah. Might need to set up a big old fuel power plant. I may have to put my dreams of being an arms dealer off for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to need... We're going to need the silica now. Which means I'm probably going to the Spire Coast. Oh, if we run the silica down there to that thing, oh yeah, that'll get us a lot more... That's 12.5 per minute instead of 7.5. We could actually make that computer thing run at capacity. Or wherever we build it. That's... Mm -hmm. Got the whole chicken and egg problem. It's like, we need computers to make the train line. Yeah. Yeah. But we kind of need the train line to make the good computer site that delivers everything to a place that gets it built. Chicken there meat egg. Because the train station needs eight computers. And the locomotive needs five. And so the freight platform needs two. Lock signals only need circuit boards. Path signals need a computer. We are not going to be worried about path signals yet. We'll be just be using block signals. Oh boy. I have not played around with... <laughs> played around with <gasps> uh, train pathing. You know what we can build right now? What can you build right now? The dune buggy! <gasps> the explorer? Really? The explorer is available. Five crystal oscillators, five heavy mod frames, 15 oh my steel gosh, pipes, it is. five motors. Oh Holy crap. my gosh. Would you like to go vroom vroom? Oh, that would simplify <laughs> some things, yeah. Heck yeah. Catch a ride! I, I did that oh, bit so, in my uh, video, and then I felt like I had to apologize to Mikey Newman for his bad, <laughs> the bad scooter impression. I, I, I think he'd, he'd be cool with it overall, honestly. <laughs> Although he's in he's in Canada doing Desert Bus for Hope right now, so it might take a while for you to get an answer. <laughs> Right, we are making heavy mod frames right over here. I feel like building it right next to the truck. I'm like, who are you? I'm you, but better. <laughs> Thankfully, the the machines cannot feel shame yet. Be concerning if they could. No, oh, I need more iron plates. Oh, sorry, gotta put it in the fuel thingy. Oh. Whee.
I think spot production for computers and. Why? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So, I need to be right there. <laughs> I have gone to a place. Oh no, I'm getting out. I can jump out. <laughs> what sorry. happened? You I was driving uh, toward Nyx, and then I drove into Nyx. And uh, temporarily turned on no clip for me. Oh boy. I clipped her right into the world. <laughs> I took a screenshot, I caught it before I got out. Thankfully I could still move, but it was funny. Not necessarily a great way to get to the computer works, though. Like, the climbing of the dunes is like... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello there. Hello! What'd you look at that? Yeah. So I'll leave that with you. Okay. <laughs> I figure you go, you'll probably get more use out of it than I will. Possibly be doing. Possibly, yeah. I mean, that is your ticket to where would you like to build and or explore next? Yeah, that's. I might build my own when I'm ready to go start preparing for the Fixmas. Uh, factory. Yeah. You have to find yourself a path there and then build, like, literally just build an entire two foundation wide road the whole way there. Yep. All right. It is trucking along. I just need to power it now. Well, I guess I'll go for a drive while I'm waiting for the plastic to fill back up. Also, would be a good test of how is the uh, client at driving vehicles? Yeah. Mm hmm. Like, I know Nick right. did the truck, and that was okay, but... Automated circuit boards has now been set up. It's just waiting for materials to get to it. Where yeah, is that? This is all right, so far. The copper works. Okay. Oh, yeah, this it's is... It's just waiting for the... Uh, okay. Yeah, this ain't too bad at all. Hmm. Those shocks. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, it's not strictly faster than the hypertubes, but it's a lot more fun. I <laughs> force fed it some silica to get it started. Nice. Yeah, it's... Yeah, the Explorer is not the technically the fastest, but it's certainly the most versatile, faster way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's faster than running. At least as long as you're not, you know, bouncing off of rocks and things. Okay, did you say we, we were close to having all the plastic we needed for... Almost. Uh, Just uh, another minute or so. Okay. So I figure we'll get that done, and then we can call it an egg, because it's coming up on that time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's much to ruminate about for our next steps. Yeah. Other than the sinking part, though, the Steelworks upgrade is pretty much done. It, it, it is more better, not vastly reworked, just better than it was. And that's all I really need it to be right now. It is cranking out copious amounts, so. Yeah, what does it take to make a... Oh, I've got enough. Do I have enough for those, though? Yeah, yeah maybe.
At 40 per minute, it takes a little while to replenish. I bet it does. Probably could have done a better yeah, job of that. Be. We already have 30 circuit boards. There's those I'm just going to let stop. All right. Coming back. All right. Yeah. This assembler's not running at full capacity, but it's like almost there. And honestly, that is close enough for that thing to still be better than the other one. Enter output steel beams. Right output overflow, which is going to be a well for that happens. Pipes, overflow, all right, pipeline engineering, mark two <laughs> for those markers. Is a go. I'll throw jetpack up there just because. Can now be constructed. Capable of handling increased throughput because it's the last thing well before the space elevator. For better oh, hey, I'm gonna want the jetpack anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we want jetpacks for right the the one use we really want for packaged fuel, and that's to make jetpacks go. It's true. So that'll be on the list to set up. Okay, I'll be right over once I add power to that thing. Okay, I'm not worried about EIBs because we're going through them pretty fast anyway. Mm -hmm. But if we fill up these steel pipes and steel beams, those will now overflow into a smasher. Hey! Of course, I say that and I grab a bunch more steel pipes to put into the um, <laughs> heavy mod maker. So, you know, it's not going to happen anytime real soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're prepared for when it does. And that's something. Okay, let me dump stuff off here. Oh, just about out of regular modular frames. Oops. And just about out of those as well. Oh, hey. I've got a bunch of spare. And there we go. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, this has been a very productive day. Done. Yeah. Quite pleased. Quite pleased indeed. We even got our glass floors. Finally. Have been we questing did. for those for ages. <laughs> All right. Come on down. And, and yes, we have been getting thud. saves. <laughs> Ker thud. I dumped so many rotors into our motor maker. Oh, that's an that's an art pressure had... now. That's not in that's not in foundations. That's interesting. What the the glass frame foundations? I was looking for it for a little while. Yeah, because it because it. it's part of the steel frame foundation pack. So that which is a weird choice, it. admittedly, because yeah. it's like nothing else in that pack is like that. But that's where they put that yeah. one. Right, yeah, we had two rows full stacks of rotors, so I Alrighty. dumped that there. So we'll have motors for days. Alright, let me get 
save uh, three. Seventh day, really? Oh goodness! It's only day seven. It's, well, it's actually, my my surprise is like it's been seven actual sessions. Uh yeah, and twenty-one and a quarter hours. Ooh. Wow! So Over. after the next session, we'll have put a full rotation of the Earth worth of time into this. And we'll be bumping up against the second or third elevator shipment. Yep. Not shabby. All right. We're good to go. Thank you yet again. Uh, Heck fantastic yeah. as always. Yep, always. And uh, this felt less grindy. This felt so mm. much less grindy. This this had some more actual like things to do in problem solving and whatnot. And yep. mm -hmm. and things to show for it. <laughs> and I <laughs> barely yeah. touched the ironworks. Yeah. That, <laughs> getting you out of there was probably the biggest victory today. <laughs> oh, for me. <laughs> I know that was my victory. All right, we got to save. We're good to go. Thank right. you and good night. Let's Have call a good that night. a stream. Later, all. Later. Later.